Okay, so I have been working another project. I've, this is the first phase of this project. It's going to be quite, uh, hopefully rewarding. I've taken a little girl's bike. I stole it from her. I cut it up. There's the back wheel down there. I cut it up and I put it on my motor that I had gotten for the my bike project and I wired that up over here and I put a pass I mean a, a, a blocking diode in there and now when it's on this side of the blocking diode you're gonna get the voltage of the battery which is 11.61 now, if I take this off, somehow, there we go. and I go on that side of the diode, there's no power. That allows me to connect the hot wire of the, ba uh, the motor to the hot wire of the battery without the battery running the motor. And so now when I crank this, it's going to generate power and it's going to charge that. So once again, our starting voltage for this is 11.61 and I will be back in a little bit. So I just got off this thing and uh, got the voltage up. Now it's going to go down as it absorbs the uh, stuff there. The voltage is going to go down and balance out. So. Ooh. We'll see what it balances out at. This thing here though, whew, that gives you a workout, let me tell you. So it's been about 10 minutes and I put about 20.2, about 0.2 volts into it. And it took about 64 rotations on this. And it's not that easy to turn, but it's definitely working. So, after five minutes of twisting on this thing, and about 15 or 20 minutes it's settled down, we're now up to 11.88. Oh man, we were at 11.61, so, ooh, this is a high capacity, a higher capacity battery other than that little one apparently, obviously. So it takes a lot to charge it up. But the good thing about this is, this is also physical therapy for me to keep my muscles moving and hopefully. Thirteen volts. That's fourteen volts. Fifteen volts. So as you can see, it's quite a workout. <laughs> 